it's an Atlas Shaper. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what model it is. Um, uh, and there's some parts missing from it. But it's uh, it's been sitting in a barn for for over 20 years, the guy said. And he never used it. So. And uh, it was home to a rodent at some point. And this is the shape that it's in. Pretty much an exploded view. I have it all taken apart and uh, cleaned up and uh, getting ready to prep for paint. This is where I'm at on the uh, on the assembly process. I've got uh, I've got most of the castings painted and I've got the this much put together. I've got the I've got all the internals all the internals uh, back together. So the Atlas Shaper project is finished. Um, I've had it running for some time now, but I'm still in the early stages of uh, learning how to operate it. So I'll get some work mounted and uh, we'll take some cuts. All right, so I have a three inch mill vise on a swivel base mounted and I have a piece of half inch thick aluminum plate in there. I'm just taking some practice cuts on that. And I've learned that when you set a part up for the shaper, there's two main adjustments that you have to make. Um, the first one is the is the distance that the ram travels back and forth. Now this has a capacity of seven inches, but for like a half inch part, you wouldn't necessarily want it to run the, the, the whole seven inches. So there's an adjustment for that. So you can narrow, you can narrow your range down here and you loosen that hand wheel and you can adjust it like that. And you got a, you got a scale up here that you can use. So they say that uh, you want a minimum of of a half inch on the back side, and that gives gives the the uh, clapper time to return to its position, and about a minimum of three eighths on the front side. I think I may be wrong on that, but I think that's that's the case. But I figure if I can get like a half inch or an inch or so uh, on both sides, I, I'm probably good. So. The other adjustment that you need to make is where on its travel that it makes its movement back and forth because if the part was mounted out here, you know, the, the, the one inch or two inch travel, you know, back here isn't going to do me much good. So there's an adjustment for that. You just loosen this, you turn this knob here and it'll move it, it'll move the ram in and out so you can locate it, you know, locate the, the uh, reciprocation right over top of your part. So a shaper uses a lathe bit and they're sharpened very similar to a lathe bit, but I'm still learning on that. But I think I have a, the one I have in there now is sharpened well enough to cut through this, uh, through this aluminum. So uh, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, the table moved over and we'll go ahead and make a cut. So the table has an automatic feed, has a ratcheting device, and you can adjust uh, you can adjust the length of travel per stroke of ram.
so you can see it leaves a very nice finish. Next is to uh, just use it on some projects. So that's all for now, and thanks for watching.